Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 4 and it's going to be a little bit of a detour from our Raiders career mode. We're finished with the first season, we won the grand final, all things going swimmingly there and uh, yeah, we uh, we decided to uh, to pick the Kumuls, the PNG international team for, the, for our international team to coach this year. So we're going to be playing through, I'm pretty sure this is like the world the world cup um so yeah uh we got a pretty a pretty strong lineup as you see here it is a uh it is a formidable side this uh this png lineup the forward pack you know it's it's a tough it's a tough it's a hard working very exuberant forward pack it's probably the one area that can it can be a little bit lacking in terms of just star quality you know against like the top tier nations for sure but you know, you got some real strikeout wide. Thompson Tede, Justin Olam, Otio on the wing with uh, Nana McDonald. Um, so yeah, there's there's some there's some extremely good players. Asi Boas, Israel Iliab in the in the halves. There's some there's some good stuff. I think um from memory, I think Iliab I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Iliab? 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure he signed with a Super League club like a few a few years ago. I know he was a bit of a star coming through the the PNG side in the Queensland Cup. I know when they won the the tournament their their first was it their first year in the in the in the grade they won the won the comp. I'm pretty sure. Um, but Iliab was uh, was an absolute star in the halves. And I'm pretty sure as uh, right here it's going to be Nan McDonald putting a little chip and chase on last play, and the the flyer there scores the opening try. Obviously, a uh, bit of unfortunate stuff happening with McDonald in uh, in real life footy with the injury, and then getting in uh, getting in some strife. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we're not going to go into detail with that. A bit disappointing as uh, as a fan of his, but. You know, I actually don't know what he's up to now, but uh, hopefully he can, you know, hopefully he can make it back one day. I, I actually don't know what uh, what ended up resulting as uh, Otio is going to score an absolute barnstorming uh, try right there. Beautiful stuff by uh, our other flyer on the wing. Um, but yeah, Iliab, I'm pretty sure he signed to a Super League club because, yeah, he was a bit of a star coming through. I don't know if he really kicked on, but yeah, he was... He was uh, pretty, pretty solid indeed. Um, but uh, yeah, strong, strong team. And then the forward pack, like I said, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, oh, that's right. I, I was trying to, I was looking it up because I was, I was actually thinking about this. But yeah, Otio, Otio did pass away, didn't he? I, I was, I was, I was looking at the name. I'm like, I remember, I remember. Otio is a winger. He was an absolute freak on the wing for the Kumuls, but um, I was sure that uh, he did. He passed away, and yeah, I just looked up then just to confirm. But yeah, he did. He did pass away. I didn't. I didn't. I can't remember if it, it wasn't suicide, was it? I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta check because it was. Yeah, it was sad news. Um, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't suicide. It was just. It was just a freak, uh, freak death, unfortunately, like terrible news. Um, but yeah, he was at the, he was at the Raiders at the time. So yeah, disappointing, disappointing. I, I was looking at the name, I'm like, audio, that, that rings a bell. But yeah, a couple of, couple of years ago that happened now. Um, so yeah, disappointing, uh, indeed. A lot of, um, well, not, a, not a lot, but, uh, definitely more than there should be young young footballers and just young young people in general really um passing away at a young age generally it's not generally it is you know suicide um which is obviously awful but uh this one was actually a freak a freak accident on uh, on a training drill which is just just devastating for the for the club but um yeah we're gonna gonna score another try we'll try to bring it back up a little bit of a, a dour a dour note there but um you know, just I guess a bit of remembrance for audio. There is, uh, you know, he he was a, he was an up and coming star. So sad to see, but playing some good footy here. Beautiful ball onto Nana McDonald on the wing, gets it back to uh, Iliab, gets absolutely dropped, and then 
star growth i mean another bit of a star from the from the past i actually don't <laughs> i don't know what happened to star growth i mean as a beautiful try here nanny mcdonald dives into the corner beautiful work thompson tede um he's another guy he's honestly another guy thompson tede and star growth i mean i don't actually know whereabouts they are thompson tede I, I feel like he signed to a club as well you know what i'm gonna freaking look it up <laughs> Um, but yeah, Stargrowth Armin, he was, he was an absolute gun at, uh, at fullback for the Kummels a couple of years ago, and then, yeah, I, I know, um, watching them the last year or so as a beautiful, well, bit of a, <laughs> bit of a sloppy offload, we're absolutely killing whales here, it's a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a slaughter, um, Iliab is gonna score, uh, another try for us, um, but I think, oh, it's, I think Tade might still be at, uh, at PNG, but yeah, he was just, uh, he's a bit of a, bit of a stalwart now, um, but yeah, Stargrowth, I mean, I don't, I don't know where about he, he's gone in the scene, but yeah, he was a, he was a good player back in the day, so we got him at fullback, um, yeah, the, after this video, I've just been looking up the, uh, the names of the, of the past a little bit, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of good players. I don't know what it. I, I I honestly don't really know why a few of these, or a few more of the PNG boys haven't cracked the grade. Is another another try there to Wales, getting a little bit of a a pre from the the bashing. Um, but yeah, look at like the Fijian boys on the wing. Like a lot of like the flying Fijians have sort of cracked it now. But a lot of like there's a lot of like PNG players that especially outside backs that I'm sort of like surely like get him into the get him into the fray I mean Justin Olam is a great example of just being an absolute like they're just built like absolute trucks like they're the on the on the the wingers and centers are just absolute monsters and they can run as fast as anyone I'm just sort of like how, how have more of these guys not sort of got a crack like I, I Honestly, if I was like a, I don't know, maybe NRL clubs do do this more than it it looks like. Is uh, I mean, it gets through there, he tries to pass it, it's gonna get knocked like 40, 50 meters. James Seguiaro, for some reason, didn't want to put it down. <laughs> I don't know why. And then um, I I don't know who they're gonna award it to. It should be uh, I think it should be uh, Iliab. Um. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> also, one thing I forgot, I forgot to put Reese Martin as the goal kicker. I'm pretty sure I remember to do that next game, but Asi Boaz can also, he can kick a few goals. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. If I was a, like I said, maybe NRL clubs do this more often, but if I was an NRL recruiter, like, surely you would go to, like, PNG and try to sign up, like, because you could, you wouldn't be spending big bucks as, look at this, Justin Olam just is decimating the Wales lineup and gives uh, Otio another try there. I think that's his hat trick, so good stuff for the uh, the winger. But, um, yeah, you, you know, you could sign these guys for not a lot, obviously. You know, they wouldn't be on big money, and it would, but it would seem like a lot, you know, to a guy coming from PNG. Give him a, give him a go. Like, <laughs> there'd be some absolute diamonds in the rough over in PNG and even even Fiji like I, I know like they talk about it a little bit like oh you know back in the day like Fittler and Johns went to Fiji to to look at them and stuff but do they do that like a lot like obviously Johns and Fittler don't go over there much but they've been over there a couple of times but like do NRL recruiters like from dif different clubs go over there and and scout some talent like surely you could just pick up some bargain absolute monsters to, to just give a give a crack to surely surely there's like a just a bunch of absolute stars in the you could just sign up for cheap i i don't know it's always it's always been something that I, i've just been a little bit baffled with why there's not more sort of running around but we do get an absolute thumping of a win hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this little uh world cup uh with png and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one